Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the missing DLL file Steam underscore API 64R.dll. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things that can help you fix this error and run every game because I saw that COD Black Ops can give you this error and other games from Steam. In order to fix this error, first of all, right click on the game, right click on a random game from my list here. but right click on your game that gets you that error click on properties and here go to local files and as you can see here you have uh, four buttons browse local files backup game files uninstall game verify integrity of game files so first of all click on verify integrity of game files and the official steam client will scan all the files from that game and we'll see if there are any missing files or many missing important files that are required uh, for the game to run what you can do is to browse the local files and here look into this location and even enter into folders and see if you find that steam api 64 rdll if you find it and um, you get that error deleted and i'm going to show you how to download it again from a, a very cool website so the website that i'm going to show you is called dll files type it in and uh, you have this dllfiles.com you're going to have this link in the description down below so don't worry so this is a very cool website that has a very large library of dll files so in this case we can easily search for this file and if we search for it as you can see we find here all the files that we need. Either you need the Steam API R.dll or the Steam API 64.dll. I'm gonna leave you this link in the description down below. Go and click on it, and then down below, you're gonna have the latest version of the file. Click on download. And as I've said, go in your game properties, local files, browse local files, and here replace the the missing steam underscore api 64.ell file so this is how you should be able to fix this error i'm really hoping that this helped you and you managed to fix the error and now you are able to play your game without any errors if this video was useful don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day